In this video, we will learn how to read a CSV data. First, we will read using NumPy and then we will convert the data into PyTorch tensor. We are going to work on this wine CSV data set. This data is about the quality of wine. It is saved in CSV format. It has 12 columns and more than 4000 rows. We will import the CSV file. Let's import all the libraries that are needed to load the data set. First, we are going to import CSV. Then we will import Torch. And finally, we will import NumPy as NP. We are going to import the CSV file and first we will copy the path where the file is stored. Right click on this, go to properties. From location, copy this location address. Go to Jupyter Notebook. Let's make a variable and let's save the path of our CSV file. I'll make a variable data underscore path. Let's use double quotes. Inside this, paste the link which we have copied and make sure we have double slash instead of one slash. Otherwise, we won't be able to import the CSV file. We have to make everything here double slash. This is the path of our CSV file and at the end, we have to write the CSV file name which is wine data dot csv we have saved the path let's print our path a file is stored on this location we will load the data set using the numpy library and from numpy we will use the method load text let's make a variable and inside that we will save our CSV file. I will say wine underscore numpy because first I am going to read the CSV file using numpy library. From numpy, we will use the method load text. Inside this, the first argument will be our path of our data, and we have saved the data path here in this variable data path. So we will give data path here. And after this, we have to define the data type. The data type is going to be float32 from numpy, np.float32. After that, there is one more parameter. After that, we will use delimiter. This is going to be semicolon. And the next parameter is skip rows. It is going to be one because we are not going to import the column names. We are going to import only rows. That is why we are saying skip rows is equal to one. That is skip the first row and after that take all the rows. Let's run this line. We got an error wine data dot csv not found because the spelling of wine data i did not write it correctly i'll go here and i'll change the spelling i have to remove d from here i'll run this code again now i'll try to run this code and here i have successfully imported the csv file i'll print the csv file print wine underscore numpy these are some of the data labels which we can see here. We will also check the type of our data. We will say type of bind underscore numpy. We got the output numpy dot nd array. It has a type of nd array from numpy module. Next, we are going to import the column names. I'll make one variable column underscore names. In this, I will use the method next. This is an inbuilt function. Inside next, I will use from CSV, CSV reader. Inside this, I will use another method open. And here I have to give the path of our data. And the path is stored in the variable data underscore path. 
we will pass this here next we have to define the delimiter it is comma separated let's run this line we have imported the column names let's print the column names the first column name is fixed acidity the second is volatile acidity and etc now we are going to convert this numpy data into pytorch tensor let's convert numpy to pytorch tensor we will make one more variable this time i will say wine underscore pytorch and in this we will convert the numpy data into pytorch and store we will say from torch dot from numpy and we have to pass here our variable name which contains our data we will say wine underscore numpy because in wine underscore numpy we have saved our data in numpy format let's run this code let's print our wine underscore pytorch variable we can see the data is here and it has been converted into pytorch tensor we can also check the type of our new data set we will say type of wine underscore pytorch it has a type of torch dot tensor it has been successfully converted from numpy to pytorch dot tensor if we see above here the type of our data was numpy dot nd array we can also check the data type and shape wine underscore pytorch dot t type the data type is float 32 and we will also check the shape wine underscore pytorch dot shape it has 4898 rows and 12 columns i am making all this tutorial so that you will be familiar with pytorch what are the data types in pytorch how we can import a csv file in pytorch and once we complete all these basic things we will move to deep learning models where we will develop some very interesting models i'll see you in the next video if you like my channel please subscribe to my channel thank you for watching